Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. At first we were scared. How did we end up here? Where were we? Should we leave our highway? And it turns out the answers in order as I asked them were, I don't know, I don't know, and definitely not. It is true, we used to hate each other, honking and shouting, fuck you, back and forth, like animals, but now, we have found community and love. Hey, I'm the youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord Asphaltia tomorrow. I'm not too excited about it, to be honest, actually. Hey, I'm not even that much younger than everyone else. I'm 45 years old. I just happen to be the youngest by a couple of months. I know everyone's happy, but we did kill a lot of children in the name of a god we only made up within the last week. Isn't that crazy? Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway. Lord Asphaltia provides for us, by which I mean sometimes a mite scurries up into our territory. We eat it and it's so, so we don't die. They taste awful, but it helps us not die. You know, I didn't believe in Lord Asphaltia a few days ago, but I mean, since then we, we've made him up and I'm like, uh, I, I'm a believer for, sure and for sure and forever you're blessed by lord asphaltia 
as Faultier has guided you back to me. Let's do this all day!
Oh, thank God, I missed the act. I'm dying. Somebody needed our help. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. We stumbled across another body. It looked like a classic case of... Hey, what happened to you? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A G3 base. That can only mean one thing. Not sure what, though. Oh, God. Oh God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Do they still have a chance of survival? Who's to say? No way to know. Not even with all the blood and half their body missing. We weren't going anywhere until it was over. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. And I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. And just like that, another candle is snuffed out in the wind. So cool. Hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You, you promised me you'd stay with me until I, until I die. Oh, I feel it. Oh. oh. Hey, hey, thanks for coming back. Are you fine now? <laughs> No, 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 oh, oh, I'm dying, no, I'm actually, oh, not uh, for real this time, though. No. Oh, my God, oh, stay, don't go anywhere, stay with me, thank you. Oh, here, here I go, oh, my God. Oh. Oh. He died twice! That's so much sadder than just dying once. Hey, hey, what the fuck? You left me again. I'm, I'm not dead yet, assholes. Paul, come back. If you leave me again, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill myself. I thought you were already dying. Oh, whoops, whoops. Never, never mind. I, 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 I'm really, I'm really dying now. Now this, oh, for real. This, but this time is the real one. Oh, good, good. I can feel it. Oh, fuck. Oh, this really hurts. Good, good, goodbye. I, oh, oh. Okay, this time it's gotta be real. Let, 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 let's just get out of here. It's, it's depressing. Hey, hey, guys, I'm still alive. You need to come back here and stay with me. You, you had to do it. You, you had to put him out of his misery. It was like a really annoying horse with a broken leg, you, you know? It, it, do you understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg? You, you following here? Don't mind me, just selling stuff. You gotta slow down once in a while. Yeah, keep looking, take your time. You feeling that?
You get it, right? The big picture, I mean, you get it. Hi there, traveler. I'm just out here living my best life. You got a good vibe about you. Hey, come on by if the mood strikes you. You know, sometimes it's nice to just fly around, you know? Who cares? It's like Christmas morning! Damn well, this isn't sanitary, and, and it hurts like fuck! Ow, this hurts me too, you know! Hey, how are you? My name's Colby, and before you ask, no, I'm not gonna try to sell you Gooper cum or anything gross like that. I'm not anything like my two weird brothers. Okay, yeah, good, good, good on you, good on you, buddy. Sorry, I just, yeah, no, I, I, I'm a little sensitive. My brothers both sell weird goop and cum, and now everyone just assumes that's what I do, and I don't, I don't. I, I, I sell warp base insurance. Are, are you in the market for that? Uh, you know, I don't think so. Uh, sorry. You know what? It's fine. You know, nobody ever is. You know, maybe I need to just give up and start selling goop and cum or something. Piss. I don't know. I'm gonna starve to death out here. I got some stuff to think about here. Can I just have some space? It was nice to meet you. Thank you very much.
Come one, come all. Come marvel at the mysteries of the cosmos. Decided to take a look, have we? How fortuitous. Before you lies the mythical Zephyr Star Whale. Some say this mythical being pollinated the land with its mighty Star Whale Seed, which supposedly gave way to all life on Zephyr. That's the myth, but I know the truth. An old guy named Steven did it. He just jizzed everywhere a few thousand years ago and sort of just uh, became a god for this planet, I guess. The progenitor of all Zephyr life, including mites, fergals, and moplets. So good for Steven. All hail Steven. Ah, just thinking about him makes me all misty-eyed. Okay, thank you. That's that's great. En enough. That's enough for us. Fare thee well, traveler. Rip off. Like a bird. Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because we need a good mystery to solve. Now go scan stuff.
someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy, or, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right then, let's, let's keep moving. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry. Wrong bit. Wrong bit. I mean, how do they are detectives? Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's got to be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got this, Pseudo. G get the fuck out of here. Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. The old hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? 
Jeez, it looks like Dr. Diblitz was pissed you didn't get first place in, in science. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Gatlian, a regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows, let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Doctor Giblets' status report: No life signs detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message. It means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Everyone called me crazy. But look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped. Yes, I was wrong. How could I have been so blind? 
I know who killed me now. It was you, Krubus. What? What is? What? He, he thinks Krubus killed him? Jay, yes. Jesus Christ, how many of these did he record? Krubus, 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 always complaining about being the lowest
should have known it was you. It could only have been you! How moronic of me to assume otherwise! You're the most obvious suspect. Nipulon! Nipulon? He, he's the second in command! Nipulon! You've been here from the start. Gramatuous's favorite right-hand man. You always hated the attention he gave me. You wanted them all for yourself. And truth be told,
As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians, but now, I see how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however, humans are going to change everything. God damn, what the fuck was the G3 doing with this guy? Weird. If I'm reading this right, it seems like that famous scientist Dr. Gurgola was researching Gatlians? Oh, uh, you know what? Is he even alive? You know what? Let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, get him all fixed up. I just wanted to say, you know, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, oh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, bounty hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again. Okay, I'm serious. Delete it. J delete it. And if we, if you can't do it, we, we, we go, we go to, you know, we, it's a whole mission. It'll be a whole DLC mission. Every last peso we've ever earned, we pay whoever it is to delete this fucking detective mode bullshit. You know, a whole DLC story about it that, that we'll charge $45 for. And it'll only be like an hour of content because fuck you. You bitch! No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't do that. We're not gonna do that. Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go! Come on over, let's bow wow! Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit! That's great. I I I, I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's he's not really functional. I, I don't I don't I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes. I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. Let me give you the news. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? I, ha, huh. okay. You want me to talk about something else? Like what, shoes? 
Why? I have important information to share with you. I'm not just shooting the shit here for fun. Are you just trying to be annoying or mean? I mean, is this some kind of weird power move to try and teach me my place or something? Making me wait to tell you my important shit? Look, I'm not playing along. Christ, kid. Good news or bad news? Make it quick. Hey, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it's pretty embarrassing. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Uh, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite... You and I are best pals. Can we, okay, listen, just, just, it's easy. Put the other Gatlians down next to Gene and let's get out of here, look for Lizzie and have a chat. We can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, Bounty Hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister. All right, guns. No funny business while the bounty hunter's away. Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that, so your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna chat. It's gonna be good. It's gonna, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about the, I don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, well, oh, there's something I need to tell you. Whew, this is this is hard. Just give me a second. Oh, you got this, Kenny. Come on. What are you doing? Making it awkward. All right, Kenny, you're talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. Just hurry it up, all right? Bloody heck, you, you'd never judge me, right? I mean, we're such close partners at this point, you know? Like, nothing I could say could ruin that, right? <laughs> I'm just just kidding around. Just I'm just joking around. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm out of my body right now, I think. We are uh, we are heading to Applebee's in the slums, and that's where we're going to in the slums. Oh, God damn it! Just fucking please! I need this! I need this to work, man! I've been doing shit pranks all day, and this one's my last shot. So just say you 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 got pranked. Say the goofster got you. You know, Gene said Tweak worked at Applebee's, right? So that is that is a makes a it's a good place to start looking for your sister. Broken leg guy still here. See you later. So we are heading to Applebee's in the slums, uh, in the good part of the slums, the space Applebee's in the in the good part of slums. We are heading there. Oh boy! 
boy. Okay, so that um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and he, you know, back alive. The thing is, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly or, or you know, like communicate um, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that, that, that the others don't know and it's, it's nothing too crazy, you know? It's, it, it, okay, no, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. Sorry, I don't mean to be cryptic. I'm just, oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I just don't want you to hate me. I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Tweeg is working today. He didn't show up for a shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, 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 will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just, you know, it it's gonna weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. Y y you remember that, right? Y you know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Uh, okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but wh where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. You no, know, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something. You know. Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So. 
I led the G3 right to Getlas. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do you, do you see my problem, right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Not Help me, please. that sentence. We're in okay, love. We gotta get to them. Oh, shit, yeah. We, I can't dine and dash. I love this place. Don't want to get blacklisted. Oh fuck, okay, this, this this changes shit, this is bad. I'm here live in downtown Blue City where, as you can see, we have been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you are that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Fuckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Uh, so, I've got some more bad news. Uh, you were doing such a good job with all the bounty hunting rights, and you really were, so I made some new commercials with you in them to drum up more business, and well, Let's just say they had your house's address, and now the G3 knows where we are, so they're attacking the house. So, get back here quick, or they're gonna kill me and the other guns. My bad. Fucking did, as if it couldn't get any worse.
Okay, come on, what are you doing? We, we gotta get to the house! Stop fucking around! Gene could be in danger! There. I can't believe I'm saying that! But where can we go if G3 won't follow? I'll handle that. Can you pull off the Hennison maneuver mid-warp to juke them? Can I what? Do you make that up? Do you scramble the warp? Fine, yes, yeah, scramble the warp! Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp core. Gene, listen carefully and enter these exact coordinates. A6213. Fuck! 
That was close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? D d did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but, uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? Hi there. Hey, I just want to say, I think we can't breathe out here. Fine, I don't need an answer. God, yes, creature. It, it was our home, and it got all fucked up. We're, we're, we're trying not to think about it too much. Got it. Thank you. Well, it looks like shit. How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. We've still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut-eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Strawberry lips control. And like an app rising on Did you uh, pick out all the decorations? They're uh, they're nice. You know, I I, I I don't hate them at least. Thine ancient conscience in my couches. I am so learned in the amorous art. All right, good night. When men I crush to my dreaded heart. 